This is Colin Digits. I'm live in the Digits Club for the Digit Agents Riddles. There is a full run-up period uh, towards obviously the um, the agents being minted, right? And the first uh, chapter is called Riddles in the Dark. There's a very cool trailer here. Uh, where basically uh, 1st of June, we started the preparation of the modules and everything. And today, um, we're basically getting everything ready uh, to get moving now because I'm streaming now my, my uh, and recording is a little laggy, but we have a leaderboard. So the leaderboard is linked inside the Discord. So if you go to the Digis Club Discord, go to the Riddles chat, there's basically a pinned message and to check the pinned messages go here. And then there is Digis Ages Riddle leaderboard because obviously there will not be one riddle. There will be a large variety of different riddles over the next couple of weeks. Not only will the Digits Club participate, but the partners will participate. Uh, the new partners will participate. Uh, there are basically hundreds, if not thousands of people that will participate. And you'll be able to capture points. However, the points are uh, for the leaderboard, not for the Digis ecosystem, right? So when we refer to points, we refer to riddle points, which you need to accumulate for the leaderboard. And when we refer to digits points, we refer to the ecosystem points that you can win. So how it basically works, when we kick off every riddle, over time, they will become more difficult. You will get more points, the more difficult the riddle, and you will also be able to be fast. So here's an example. If you're the first one to sol solve the next riddle, you get 10 points. If you're the second one, you get eight points, six points, four points, two points, and everybody else that solves the riddle, but is not in the top five gets one point. Basically, there is a whole list of participants, right, into the hundreds. And there's obviously also a price list. We will continuously add to this list. So this is what we're going to start with from the Digis Brands point of view. And the raffle will be extended based on how the partner, uh, the several partners from Launchpads to NFT projects, how they would like to participate, right? So the number one prize, the ultimate prize is basically the golden agent NFT. And if you hold this NFT, you'll also get your own unique one of one uh, Discord role that belongs with it, right? So one of the 10 one of ones is the golden agent. Uh, and it's obviously a one of one, the number one person that ends in the number one position gets the golden agent NFT guaranteed airdropped into their wallet. And not only that, you also get a thousand digits points on your mainframe account. Obviously, um, well, I think anybody would want this one, right? However, it's obviously reserved for the person that is the smartest, the fastest, and the most dedicated to solving the riddles. And let me tell you, yeah, I have reviewed the first riddle today and I was barely able to fix it and I helped create it, right? So it's definitely an interesting one. Every time, the one, the one thing I can give you for the first riddle, look further than you're supposed to be looking and don't think about complexity, think about simplicity, very important, because obviously you're, you're trying to solve these riddles and every time you think like, oh, they must have made some mastermind genius thing and it's a lot easier than you might think. But yeah, definitely got stuck sometimes, uh, but it's, it's an amazing experience. I loved doing it, I loved creating it. And uh, together with our marketing team, uh, we set up these riddles uh, for the next, couple of weeks, right? Very, very important that you know that the actual tweets will go out from digits agents. So of course, because there is a time uh, situation, right, the first one to solve the riddle, it's important that you hit this notification bell, right? Follow, hit the notification bell. Once the tweet gets tweeted out, usually when you have the notification bell, you get like a notification within the first minute from Twitter on your phone. 
Um, I recommend you to be on a desktop device when you try to crack these riddles. You can also do it on mobile, but it's quite a little bit more difficult to navigate than on desktop. So that's a little bit of a trick that I will give you. Follow the Digits Agents Twitter, hit that notification bell so you get notified when the riddles are being posted. They will only be posted on this Twitter. So that's always where it starts and then where it ends into the great beyond. So the first prize, a one of one golden agent NFT plus legacy Discord roll plus a thousand digits points. For the number two to number 10, you get a tier one whitelist spot plus 250 digits points. For the number 11 to 20, you get a tier one whitelist spot plus 100 digits points. For 20 to 50, uh, tier one whitelist spot, 50 digits points. And for 51 to number 200, you get a tier two whitelist spot plus 10 points, right? There is a loser's price for uh, anybody that falls into the rank 201 to 500. Basically, uh, for your uh, participation, you get a consolation prize um, because, well, you know, you tried. You might not be that smart. You might not be that quick, but you deserve a little something, something for your efforts, right? If you are number 501 or lower, you get nothing, basically. Thanks for participating, but you didn't make the cut. Right. Obviously, the most important thing is that these digits points will be added to your mainframe account and will be used in the entire digits brands ecosystem. So very, very high on the utility. Um, I don't want to say too much about the points because I will do that in the mainframe AMA, which I'm hosting tomorrow, which will drill down the points, the utility, how it works, et cetera, et cetera. But these are at least top 50, right? Even top 200. If you get any points, the most important thing on the day of the upload, the points are added to your account. So you immediately have a competitive advantage when you get your points, well, everybody has to wait 24 hours to receive their first points from their staking, right? So you are ahead of the curve if you place top 100 on the Riddle leaderboard. Very, very important. So there will also be a raffle among all participants, and this is random, right? So we'll basically get one of our, I don't know, finance admins or whatever, somebody not involved in the Riddles, just to pick some people completely at random, there will be a distribution of 10,000 digits points among all participants, likely in brackets, um, bite-sized chunks, right? Uh, as I said, it will likely be several thousands participants, right? Because out of all the different communities we will be working with, people will be invited to join in on these riddles because the tier one whitelist spots are very, very limited. Right? There's less than 100 of them, uh, which means that everybody who wants one needs to be in the top 50 on the leaderboard. Otherwise, you don't get one. Sad. Uh, but 10,000 points will be distributed among all the participants. Then there will be uh, 10 allocation NFTs, which will be randomly airdropped among participants. At some point in the riddles, you need to supply a wallet. So that's how that works. And then there will be a long extension of how the uh, participants uh, are able to receive partner giveaways, right? Depending on what the partners want to offer, right? Not all of them have sent in their specific uh, raffle item just yet. So you will see this list being updated over the next couple of weeks. Continuously, more prices, obviously better. Some questions, is tier one agent NFT? Yeah, so these are all whitelist spots for the agents, right? Tier one is just a cheaper price than tier two. So if you go to Discord, the prices have been updated. So tier one whitelist is 0.99, tier two is 1.29, and public is 1.59, right? So there's an opportunity to get tier one whitelisted, uh, there's an opportunity to get tier two whitelisted. If you don't get any of these two by not participating in the riddles, you'll have to mint public. So obviously the riddles are huge, right? It's a huge advantage. Uh, if you already have uh, a tier one whitelist spot or a pre-sale agent, then obviously you would want these points, 
right? Because as I said, as soon as the mainframe launches, when the agents are uploaded, you get your points. So if you would get, let's say third place, of course you need that number one spot, right? But if you would get third place, you get 250 digits points posted in your account the same day while everybody else needs to wait one, two, three, four, maybe even 30 days to get 250 points and you already have them. And of course, when the digit mainframe opens up, all of the products behind it open up and you have direct utility. Pools will open, you can participate. And let's say if a weighted average for a pool is five points, because obviously people just staked, right? They don't have that many points. And you come in with 250 points, at least for the first pool, you will have huge chunk of allocation. If that's what you want or buy the whitelist or, or do whatever uh, it is you want with your points, it's obviously your choice. You can grab as much as you please because the points belong to you. You can spend them however you want. Um, overall, um, the, the pre-sale is definitely to lock in your spot, right? As I said, tier one whitelist, they're extremely limited. There's less than a hundred available. Tier two whitelist, there are more available, but the partners specifically take the, those spots. So ultimately, if you have no whitelist spot, then you end up in the public sale, which is, of course, if you look at the pricing, uh, still doable, right? Still reasonable. However, if I could choose, I would choose this one. Obviously, if I can't have that one, I would choose this one. And ultimately, if I can't have any of those, I will take this one because obviously I want to be a part of this, right? Uh, tomorrow, there will be a mainframe update where we go into the staking, the marketplace, the, the digits pad, how the economy works, all of these details related to the points. So I see some questions regarding the points. I will address those tomorrow, right? Right now, we'll focus on the, the reels. Um, will you tease us on the first projects? Yes. So uh, not related to the agents, but that's a good question. Uh, Microcaps right there. So on the digits pad pools on the marketplace, different pool options, the, the pools will be there before the agents are minted, right? So uh, you, you will be able to see, I think 10 days before the agents are minted, what the pools are. And you can basically make a smart calculation how you're out going to outcompete everybody else on the Digis mainframe if you are smart and pre-calculate everything. How many riddles will there be? Um, that's for you to find out. Obviously, uh, as we said before, we will spread them across multiple time zones, across multiple days, give everybody the highest amount of chance to participate, right? Uh, there will also be extremely complex riddles. So the first riddle will, will yield 10 points, right? It's already quite complex. Then it will become difficult, less difficult, more difficult. And there will be some extremely difficult ones. If you crack that one, you get a hundred points. So no matter where we are on the leaderboard, your number one position is never secured. So that's basically how it's designed. At any moment, you can lose your number one position. So the person sitting on top actively needs to solve all the riddles or they will lose their number one spot. Yep. Uh, Mika, yes, everybody uh, who participates gets one point. Um, not only the number six to 10, it's just like an illustrative pattern. So this is just for the first riddle, right? So the second riddle, the points might look, might look different uh, depending on the complexity of the riddle, but everybody who participates and gets the answer correct, right? Gets one point. Very important, a, a full disclaimer, right? If you share or help anybody with the riddles, you're excluded from any prizes. So I'm going to repeat this. I will also list it below the video. If you help or assist somebody else with the riddles, right? And we have, uh, fortunately, a system to check this, right? Um, with the riddles, basically ensuring them their high position while they didn't do the work, then basically you and the person that you help are excluded. And that's basically up to the standard of sole discretion of the person managing the riddles. So there's one person from the marketing team managing these riddles. It's also the person deploying the riddles, scheduling the riddles, everything related to the riddles. 
Uh, I'm just a small support on these riddles, right? The main uh, person on this job will do the verification. Uh, everything will happen. So every time that the leaderboard is updated, uh, it's at our discretion to add or remove people's points. Uh, you cannot work together on the riddles. This is not specifically for Digits Club. It's specifically designed for other communities not bundling their powers in order to get all the prices, right? Uh, but I trust that you guys are also smart, as would I be, to work together to get the competitive advantage. But in this case, you are actually rewarded for shutting up and let everybody <laughs> struggle while you just basically already reach the finish because you will quite literally see where the finish point is every time a riddle is deployed. There's also a time limit on the riddle. So a time uh, limit is applied, but it's not communicated. So at some point, the, the different steps for the riddles, it will be broken and there will be a message that you cannot complete the riddle anymore, which means you get zero points. There are several steps in the riddles. If you are step two out of five, you didn't complete it, then you get stuck and then broken. Yes, you can still bribe your math professor. You can still consult people, uh, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, your crypto gurus, but you can't uh, ask what is the answer to, to, to riddle question two. Right, it's not that's like childish. You're not participating in the riddles. You're ruining it for everybody. Um, and uh, fortunately, we have a little bit of a database checker that can check, or basically, you'll get flagged. So it's not a human that that lists it. It's just basically a system that flags suspicious behavior. And if that happens, then too bad for you. You can cry all you want. Still, you will not get your points. Um, can I help you solve the riddles? I'm afraid not. I'm not, I'm not even, uh, <laughs> the first one, I know the answers and there's, there's many, uh, but for the other ones, I haven't even seen them, right? So I still need to uh, review them and see how complex they are. But the, the one, uh, the first riddle, they said it's not that difficult, but I thought it was really difficult. So maybe I'm not that smart after all, right? Uh, so that's basically everything uh, on these riddles. Uh, it will kick off very soon. The, it's on uh, Twitter. And from Twitter, uh, you'll either find a video, a link, an image, an audio file, uh, a random referral to a different destination where you will have to pick up and figure out what the fuck it is that you're listening to, that you're looking at, and where that is supposed to take you. Um, because as I said, you know, like uh, it will definitely not be what, what walks around on, on, on Antarctica is white and looks like a big bear. It will definitely not be these type of questions. The whole thing is with these riddles to walk through the agent lore, right? So the riddles are basically completely set up to, to teach you the story on where it will all begin with the agents and why it specifically begins there. So if you use your brain, function through the riddles, you'll at the same time completely understand what being an agent is all about inside the digits ecosystem. That's specifically it. Very cool. I'm extremely bullish. I'm ex extremely interested actually to see how, uh, how smart you guys are. Uh, it, it's not only intelligence, it's also keen, cleverness, quickness. You need to, you need to see it. You need to um be quick uh, you need to be engaged right so there's a specific riddles chat on um on the discord right you can use that to to flex you can use that to basically complain <laughs> how difficult it is you can basically ask for updates Right. So if you need updates, has anybody solved it? Uh, how far along are we? How much time there's left? The team will definitely be able to give you some support. Right. So we'll tell you how much time there's left. Uh, we'll tell you how many people completed it or at least the percentage, uh, how many people got it right, how many people got it wrong. Right. But don't ask any questions uh, related to answers because that's a, quite a quick policy. First, you get removed and then you get muted. So you can't post anything anymore. And that uh, would be. Uh, a shame. What is the time frame to solve the riddle? It depends on complexity. So it goes basically for from two to six hours to four days, six days, depending on the complexity of the riddle. Some of them are extremely complex. 
Uh, others are a little bit more easy. But as I did an easy one today, which I thought was complex, so the complex ones for me are probably a nightmare. Um, but I did do the awakened NFT project myself, the riddles, and I spent, I think, six hours on three questions. I did get them ultimately with the help of a moderator of their Discord, and that was like four months ago or something. But I love that so much, but I'm just not good at riddles because I'm super impatient, right? And I get like too obsessed looking for the right thing that you start looking at the wrong things. Remember that one. Remember that one. All right. Any other questions, perhaps? I don't think you can send in multiple answers because either you understand it or you don't understand it. Uh, the final submission is basically a check mark for us if you actually solve the riddles and understand them. Yes, uh, Matt, that's a good question. Are the riddles independent from each other? Yes, the riddles are independent, but the storyline will build onwards. So it's very likely that if you start with riddle six, that you don't understand some of the questions and you would have to go back and do the first riddles first, even though there's no price uh, points attached to them anymore, you would still have to fix them in order to understand the story. Otherwise you cannot answer certain questions, which is obviously unfortunate. So basically the later you join, you can still win, right? It's not a matter of coming in early or coming in late. The earlier you start and the earlier you participate in the riddles, the higher the odds are that you will win because you have had the chance to accumulate more points. So basically the thing is how it works, how to send the answers, how to submit everything. When the Twitter notification reaches your account, that's all you need to know. Once you get the first message, then you will know what to do or not, and then you're fucked, right? <laughs> I love this. So even if you understand it, that's great. If you don't understand it, you're fucked, right? Because you'll be looking or hearing or viewing, watching something, and you'll be like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> that, that, that was my first thought. I was like, what is this? <laughs> and I spent like 20 minutes looking at, at my screen, but it, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and, and the path is actually like guided for you once you figure out what it is we're doing, what it is that you're listening to, what it is that we're working on. So definitely uh, riddle on riddle on riddle, but you, you are smart. I trust in you. I have faith in you that you will be the one that will open the doors. Uh, answers will not be published. Nope. So either, uh, so you cannot continue through the flow if you don't have the right answers, right? So you can't solve the riddles if you don't have the right answer. So when previously I said, you might submit the form and it might be wrong. I didn't mean the wrong answers. I meant the wrong explanation because you also need to give an explanation on the final submission. If that's wrong, you get disqualified and you still might have done all the riddles correctly. So fix all the riddles and then give the right explanation, and then we will give you your points if you get any at all. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have fun whenever the first riddle is posted. This will be on YouTube. I hope you're smart. I hope you guys are ready. And yeah, let's uh, converse next inside the Discord of the Digits Club. Ask your questions there if there are any and show your bullishness. Are you the one that will claim the golden agent? Let's see. Thank you so much for being here today, watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.